Hello, I am David Toby Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 33. Today we're going to be looking at quaternion interpolation. We're going to be looking at a specific way to do it called SLURP. And SLURP stands for Spherical Linear Interpolation. And it's going to help us to smoothly interpolate between two quads. So it's going to take three parameters, Q0 and Q1, which are the starting and ending quaternions, and T, which is the interpolation parameter, uh, between 0 and 1. Uh, if we're going to re do a regular linear interpolation, we'll have the same thing, but we just compute the delta, which is the difference between the two, and add a multiply a time by that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar for slurp. We're gonna, basically, you're going to compute, start at a of o and add a teeth difference between a1 and a0. So we're going to do the same thing with q0 and q1. Compute a difference, take a fraction of it, add it to the original and just by the fraction. So let's compute the difference first of an angular displacement. So the change in the two is the inverse of the original times the second one. Next we're going to take a fraction and we'll use quaternion exponentiation for that. Finally we want to take the original and adjust by the fraction and so we'll use quaternion multiplication to adjust the initial by the delta. So here's the theoretical formula. We have the slope of q0, q1, t is equal to q0 times the inverse of q0, q1, to some power t. So it seems kind of complex, but in practice it's a lot easier, since we're using unit quads. So we can basically use it and pretend like they're a sphere, or like an arc. So here's an example in 2D. We have two vectors, v1 and v0, and we're going to interpolate between the two along this sphere and we can do that with some fraction t. So let's compute what that formula is going to be like. So we have two uh, vectors here, v0 and v1, which are with two uh, values, k0 and k1, such that the two of those equal v2, uh, vt, excuse me. And we need to compute k of 0 and k of 1, which we can do looking at these right triangles here with very simple trigonometry. So you can find out k1 is going to be sine of t omega over uh, sine of w, or omega. Uh, and then the same thing, k of 0 is sine of 1 minus t omega over sine of omega. So we can plug that back into our formula here for vt for each of the same. And then finally, we can go ahead and do that with the slurp as well. And we'd end up with this uh, formula here at the end. So this is our very simple slurp formula. A few notes that you should be aware of. If we're going to use a dot product, uh, we're going to use the dot product to compute the angle between the quads. And because q and q, negative q aren't the same rotation, if the uh, we need to choose them so that the dot product between them is not negative. Uh, additionally, if they are too close, sine of uh, theta will also be very, very, very small, which will be an issue in division. And in that case, we'll just use standard linear interpolation. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and give a like. Share on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for a new newsletter. And have a great one. Thanks.